What the heck is an easy way to know which way to push the router? Hola woodworkers, Paul Carlson here, small workshop guy. Real quick uh, what the heck is video designed for beginners. Let's talk about the direction for the router. Now, before I start uh, and before I get a lot of comments, yes, sometimes you do push the router in a different way and that's called a climb cut but normally you want to push the router in a certain direction based on which way the uh, cutter is spinning or the bit is spinning and here's a way you can know how to do it easily let's suppose that i was going to take the router and run along the top here with the router faced out this direction here's a way to know do I want to go this way or this way? Take a simple little diagram like this and this represents my router and this is a super magnified version of the router bit with the cutter head and the cutter head is spinning clockwise. You ask yourself where is that cutter head engaging the wood and what direction is it going and you go that direction simple as that other than when you're trying to do a climb cut i'm going to give you a link down below to a stumpy nubs video where he covers router direction in great detail including when and how you want to do climb cuts climb cuts are ones where you go the opposite direction of what i'm talking about where the router bit is touching the wood it's going that direction so i would go this direction if I was going on the underside of this, then I just changed it, didn't I? Or did I? Let's see. So here I've got this, and it doesn't matter which way I do this, it comes out the same. If I do it this way, it's kind of like a smiley face, but anyway. But if I put my router under here, then my router bit is turning this way, and I want to go this direction. So in summary, up here I would go this direction, down underneath I would go this direction. Well, you can have a little guide like this. It wouldn't have to be this big, that's a little hard to carry in your shop apron. You could have a smaller one like this. Heck, you could even just have one if you're going to do a lot of routing in your pocket like this. So let's do a few more. I want to, maybe I want to route the outside of this, so I'm going to put my router here. The bit is going to engage here. And so the bit's turning this way, and I want to go up in that case. If I just went over to the other side here, uh, would it change? Well, let's see. Just take your guide and put it over there. In this case, you can see the way the bit is engaging tells me to go down. So if I'm on the outside of this side, I'd go up. If I'm on the outside of this side, I would go down. If I turn around and put that on the inside, then do I go up or down? Well, I can put my little handy guide on the inside. This is where I'm going to engage the wood. And this tells me when I've got it on the inside, I want to go down. If I'm over here on the inside of this, then it tells me I want to go up. Again, you can have a little handy dandy card in your apron or somewhere and say, okay, I'm going in there now, so I'm going to go down. Okay, I'm going here, so I want to go that way. All right, I'm under here, I want to go that way. And uh, you'll never go the wrong way again. Always remember, you can't stop the waves, but you can learn to surf.